with a man that needs no introduction, ECW legend, Bill Alfonso. Oh, thanks, Daddy. I'm a legend in my own mind, but I like that. You oh, are good. a legend, my friend. Thank you for coming on the show. Oh, it's my pleasure to be hooked up with you guys. Uh, you guys are treating me like a superstar. You guys are cool. I'm having a better time here than I was on a big uh, uh, market with Man Cow in Chicago. Daddy. Nice. Wow. Nice. Thank you, you so much. Really cool. Oh, my God. I love getting put over, man. Nice. It, it feels good, it's, a be- it? it's such a great feeling, yeah. you know? I got Steven Seagal sitting over there, Jim, the producer. <laughs> I got Monty, the man. Uh, everything's Gucci. Oh, unbelievable. So our new introduction song, Aqua Cherry, straight oh, to the top. Ass. You like that song? Of course I do. You can catch their music on Spotify, iTunes, or where music is sold. And with all those Bill Alfonso fans out there, please support local Long Island music, right? Nice. Exactly. You know, it's tough to become a pro- professional wrestler nowadays, and it's tough to become a musician and make a little bit of money, right? It's you got to hustle. Yeah, there's thousands of uh, sports entertainers out there, and there's only 150 jobs, so it's really hard. <sighs> wow, that's a tough biz. Speaking of that, why get into it then? What brought? What made you do it? Well, I grew up in Tampa Bay. Hey, first let me give a shout out to my beautiful grandson and my beautiful niece who are watching the show. I want to congratulate my grandson, John Avery, uh, for winning his soccer game. I'm sorry I missed it. And I'm going to catch the next one next week because I'm off. All right. Yeah. John Avery and Angelica Mary, beautiful. They yeah. love wrestling. And they watch the show, too, with me because right. I watch it. I never miss it. I right. haven't slept since 1982. So that <laughs> means I'm up all the time. So I never missed your broadcast. Uh, it's the number one pro wrestling broadcast in Long Island. Why wouldn't I watch it? You have more superstars in here than anybody, uh, any other show I've seen. It's really cool to be here, Eddie. Well, I really I'm, appreciate it. It's really cool to have you here, man. I got to tell you... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just jacked up, man. I'm oh, really excited too. to have you. Really excited. I was a to have little. You. I had like a, a two percent anxiety when I came in. I said, well, you know, you get butterflies. I don't care if you go to the Madison Square Gardens mm-hmm. or to a show. Last night was a little indie show. Uh, it's the same. If you lose the butterflies, you lose it. Well, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Rosa, who was on before you. Oh, she's beautiful. What an inc- not just beautiful. What an incredible person. I mean, personality is oh, great. Unbelievable. I say she's one of the most the top ten. In the top ten most beautiful forty year olds, old girls yes, on the planet. Yes. To me. Yes. You know, everybody yeah. has their taste, but she's my taste. And I'll even go a little further. Beautiful inside and out. Exactly. Yeah. I met her for the first time last night. We had a lot in common because we came from the uh, pro wrestling industry. So we clicked. First time I met her was last night over dinner. We talked. We couldn't stop talking. It was great. She's really cool. She's yeah. down to earth. Well, I got I got to thank her, and I got to thank you again for coming in. So again, okay. why pro wrestling, my friend? I don't know how. I, I just, I'm blessed. I was lucky. Right time in the right place. I grew up in Tampa Bay. One of the hotbeds of pro wrestling. A lot of guys lived there, and uh, I grew up watching it. And I wanted to be a professional wrestler. My, my first night at the Fort Homer Hesley Armory, I was about 12 years old. My dad got me tickets from a friend of his, and I went, and there was Eddie Graham, Great Malenko, Bobo Brazil, Jack Briscoe, uh, Sailor R. Thomas, all these big stars. Uh, and I wanted, I said, damn. They blew me away. I wanted to be just like them. But I grew up to be 155 pounds, a few pounds more now. But um, So couldn't get into wrestling at all. It was too small. But I love the business. And I started meeting some of the guys. I met King Curtis, uh, uh, Rocky Johnson, the Rock's dad, and uh, became friends and started going, going to get them, making, uh, running errands for them and became friends and stuff. And they said, hey, Fonzie, you're a small guy, you'd make a perfect referee. Mm. And somehow I just lucked into it and Rocky Johnson and King Curtis sent me out to uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, and I worked with uh, the Von Erics uh, as a referee. They loved me, the, the Funks. There was four territories in Texas. The Amarillo was the Funks territory. Right. Um, uh, Dallas was the Von Erics. Joe Blanchard was San Antonio and Paul Bosch was Houston, so there was four different places to work. It was uh, unbelievable, so I worked for them all, but not full time. I was out there six months and worked maybe eight times, and it wasn't good for me, but, uh, so I was going back to Florida, and Paul Jones, 
He was a big time wrestler back in the 80s. Who we, we lost recently. Yes, God bless him. I didn't think you guys would recognize that name. Oh, d- I didn't know how big this he is. Was. This is as old school as you can get. Really? Really? Abso- absolutely. And we're new school, but uh, as I was telling Rosa, I grew up, you know, uh, Backlund, you know, San, Mar- San Martino at the end, yeah. Backlund. You know, I was on the tail brand. end. I broke into business on the tail end of all those the, the mm-hmm. San Martinos and the Bobo Brazils right. and the Sheik, Sam Uncle on the tail end of the career. So I worked with those guys. It was real cool. Right. So um, I was leaving from Texas because I couldn't get a full time gig, making no money, struggling. Gatorade uh, Zero would be a great sponsor. This episode is sponsored it? by Gatorade Zero. Beautiful, Daddy. I love him. His mic's good, Jim. He's good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so Paul Jones said, hey, you going back to Florida? It's a shame you couldn't get a gig here because they had their own referees, David Manning, Bronco Lubitsch, and so on, yeah. uh, full time. So he said, hey, when you get to Florida, go to the wrestling office, and Dusty Rose is the booker, and Jerry Briscoe is the assistant booker. Tell him I sent you. Tell me the referee and what you've done. And so I did that. So I went to the wrestling office when I got home. Said Jerry Brisk- uh, I made an appointment with Jerry, Florida Championship Wrestling with Gordon Soley. And Jerry said, oh, you got a nice pedigree. You work for all these guys. But unfortunately, again, there's no room. They had their full-time referees. He said, but leave your name and number with the, uh, the uh, downstairs. And if something comes up this summer, we'll give you a call. Or if we run a double shot, we can, if we can use you, we'll use you. So fortunately for me, this was a Monday. And we ran West, they ran West Palm every Monday. 50 weeks a year. Tampa Tuesday, Miami or Fort Lauderdale on Wednesday, Jacksonville Thursday, Friday and Saturday would be a spot show, could be anywhere in Florida, and Sunday Orlando, it's the repeat, repeat. So one of the secondary referees had the three main events in his car, in a sold, they're going to a sold out West Palm Beach uh, arena on Monday night, and Dusty was the boss, so the guy has the referee has a flat tire with the three main event guys in a car, sold out building, and he didn't have a spare. Mm. So they missed the show. Dusty was livid. He fired him on the spot, and they called me Tuesday morning. Hey, uh, Bill Alfonso, uh, Charlie Lay, this old time wrestler guy, he's in the office. You know, uh, he said, "Hey, Dusty wants to know if he can make it." Uh, tonight and uh, I said yes sir what time you 7 o'clock so I went at 7 o'clock I worked and at the end of the night I did real good and at the end of the night Dusty said hey can you make uh, tomorrow and can you make so at the end of the week my son